Hi, John Baker here from Rotac Repair. One of my viewers uh, made a comment that how do you get the oil out of the rotary valve to be able to change it? My video covered on how to fill it properly, but not how to get it out. So let's see how we're going to drain it out. So it should be filled to this line right here. It, however, is down here. So it's low to begin with. The procedure for this is let's get the oil out of it and drain it from the lowest point which is right here. So as I said in my other videos, make sure that you measure what you took out so that you know that you put enough back in. There's my clean container. So there we go. And let it drain and it will all come out. I'll take the cap off it might make a little bit of a difference. So at this point, the reservoir is empty. Although, unfortunately, because it's stained with oil, it still looks like it has oil in it. See that? So that's going to need a really good scrub to get it so that it's opaque enough to be able to see oil in it for when the engine goes back together or it's going to need a replacement. With the way it is right there, if it was low on oil and you just glanced at it, you'd never ever know. So that we're just going to let that continue to run out. And I'll put a wiper down here and catch a little bit. And let's see how many milliliters did we remove from there. We removed uh, 200 milliliters from there. So it's basically was probably 100 milliliters short, or maybe a little more than that. So if you start to do, to do your maintenance and you know visually, you've taken the cap off and you know visually that the rotary valve oil reservoir is full to the line, then what you drain out is what you must put back in the same quantity. Okay. And uh, you can refer to that other video to uh, refill it properly because you have to uh, bleed the rotary uh, case to get the air out so that it's full of oil instead of a little bit of oil and a lot of air because that can damage your engine. Now that it's in the uh, container here, we want to switch it around. Let's have a look and see, is there any debris in the bottom? Is there any filings in it? This looks fine, so that's, uh, that's nice. So don't forget, have a look at what you took out. I hope this answers your question and thank you very much for the question. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Again, John Baker from RotacRepair.ca. Please uh, subscribe if you like, get a notification or share it with your friends. Thanks so much. Bye now.